save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. You see the piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Help! I have received a very generous $50 tip. By the way, thank you, Only Ice Coffee. Glad you guys are liking how the game looks. You know, it doesn't look as good on my mini PC as it should, but at least I'm, I'm getting to enjoy it. You know, I, I am having a great time with it. I really am, and I hope that you will come back for more. No! There is a strongly growing problem in Street Fighter VI, and it's called cheating. <clears throat> it is being exposed more and more. What am I talking about? I actually mentioned this a couple of months ago when I was complaining about the online play of Street Fighter VI, and a lot of people say, eh, Phil doesn't know what he's talking about. There right now on PC only are companies that are selling clients, and these clients hack Street Fighter VI to make it so that the game will auto-play and cheat with certain scripts. So allow me to explain. You're playing the game normally, but if a certain action happens, this script auto-does a response. So, for example, if someone does drive impact, it does auto drive impact counter right away. It's like instant auto drive impact. Okay. If someone throws a fireball, immediately it does a fast move to blow through the fireball right away. Like, there's not even like a human couldn't react that fast. It's just every time, right? And you might say, well, that's ridiculous. How could anyone ever prove it? Maybe it's just someone who's really good, you know? Well, they have figured out ways to prove it. For example, if the script says anytime there's a fireball, do a fast move, what you do is you bait it. You do it from a distance where you know that it's safe and see if the person you're fighting has exactly the same input every time the same reaction because here's the thing a human would learn a script would not so for example let's say you're ken and you're fighting akuma you're from you're very close ken throws a fireball akuma hurricane kicks right through it okay try it again fireball hurricane kicks right through it okay let's do it a little bit further away he still does it okay now i'm going to start throwing ex fireballs and those are safe for ken he does it anyway do it again he does it anyway now you know it's a script because a human would get hit by the first mistake and be like, okay, I'm not going to do that again. I just learned the EX fireball stops the hurricane. But instead, they'll just keep doing it over and over. They can't stop because it's a script, you see? <clears throat> and this is happening more and more prominently in Street Fighter. I'm pretty good at complaining. And it's not just basic stuff like, oh, auto driving back. It break every throw automatically. Literally break every throw automatically. What? How is that fucking fair? It's not. But if you ever play someone online and somehow they're breaking every throw, it's probably because they're using a fucking script. Yeah, this is a bad thing. And will Capcom actually look into this to figure out what's going on, to figure out, first of all, who are these companies selling these cheater scripts? <clears throat> Try to shut them down, right? <clears throat> but also, who are these players? Will they be banned? And will this be fixed? Because, sadly... This is where we're headed when everything goes PC-centric. As much as everyone wants to argue, PC Master Race, PC is so cool, man. You get the best optimal experience with the best graphics and less input delay and everything. That's all well and good and fine. But now, because you have had fighters go from console to PC as the main platform, you've opened the Pandora's box. This is where all this shit gets hacked. And everyone fucks with it. So what are we going to do about it? Because this is bullshit. We can't. We can't have the integrity of a competitive game be ruined because a few people are bad apples and want to cheat to get ahead. You know? Personally, it's frustrating because I already have a hard enough time. I need to fucking whine! Not playing a lot and everything, trying to, 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 to play. And now imagine that I'm playing people online who are blatantly just fucking cheating. Right? We'll have to keep an eye on this, honestly. Because I actually feel like maybe I have run into a few people. There have been a, a couple matches where all of a sudden the person literally broke every throw. It's like, every throw? Not just like 90%, but every fucking throw attempt was, blo was was broken. I don't know about that. I'm a whiner. The big dog says 99% of people agree that all the in-game tools are valid, especially for this DLC because it's so hard. Whatever it takes. Exactly. But you know, not for me. For me, anything that allows me to actually win is bad. If I use a build that sucks, it's good. So if I kept using those stubby, dual-wielding lightning axes that really sucked, let's be honest. It was the first weapon I really found that I thought was going to be good. I wasted all those somber smithing stones on them. I go to fight a regular magma worm, and the things suck ass. They're, like, doing nothing. They barely hit. I'm like, what is this? Why are they so terrible, right? Immediately then, I switch weapons, and I'm doing so much better. I'm like, so it wasted my time. I actually leveled up one of the worst weapons in the DLC. That sucks, right? 
That's what happens sometimes. But if I kept using the axes and dying 7,000 times to normal enemies, people would have said, oh, this is great. This is good because Phil sucks at Elden Ring and now we can all just make fun of him constantly. No, you can't because I don't suck at Elden Ring. You are an asshole and you can kiss my butt. Okay? Really? Kiss it. Right now. Come on. It's ready. <laughs> Disgusting pig. problems with this boss is as you can see when he attacks it causes frame drops and lag so when it's attacking i can never actively do what i want to do after the attack yeah the counter attack doesn't even work in this fight i can't hit him ever with the counter attack I don't want to do like just fucking kill me. I'll do it again. It's so dumb. Boring. It's gonna be a boring ass fight because I can't use my counter attack at all because he always moves away after he attacks, so I can never counter attack. All I'm gonna have to do is run into the body and just punch him in the legs. It's gonna be boring as shit. It's gonna be a really boring fight. This guy constantly whining. Wah, wah. Shut the fuck up. God damn. Wah, wah. I think I stunned it, but I couldn't tell. I'm pretty sure I stunned it, but I couldn't tell. I couldn't see. Uh, this is the worst boss in the DLC, in my opinion. It's super boring. All it does is giant attacks. Since I'm not fast and nimble, I can't dodge them. So I have to stand there and block endlessly. I can't ever counterattack because its build allows it to get out of the way of counterattacks. So basically, this makes my build shitty. Oh, I can't just dodge it, huh? Oh, can't hit the face. It is so boring, man. It's boring because it's not- there's no challenge to it at all. It's just basically you have to be so fucking patient. I do drink, though. Uh, occasionally. And quite frankly, maybe tonight is an is occasion for a drink. I do some little damage. What? This is so dude, I don't want to do this. It's so boring. I'm gonna do the rest of the DLC instead. I'll come back to this later. It is stupid. <laughs> it's so boring. He rage quit! He rage quit! Oh my god, he rage quit! Are you fucking serious? A rage quit is if you are playing a video game. And you decide to stop playing that video game because of anger. Oh my god, I can't believe how bad this boss is. This is the most boring thing I've done in the whole DLC. Well, that was fair. Why did they just do that much damage? Look at this! What the fuck? They're normal enemies. And they kill me with two little stomps. And they chain into each other. You dumb fucking game. No, those two little normal enemies should not be that tough, you fucking idiots. Why are they hitting for their fucking 80% damage with a tiny little foot? What the fuck? Look at this nonsense! Stupid shit. They just all keep crowding you and you can't do anything about it. Oh. It is so salty. Man fly ashes. Shadow realm room. Can't move. I was stuck on this tree. I'm fucking serious. That fucking tree just killed me. That stupid tree. 
I couldn't move at all. I was locked into the tree, and the game would not allow me to fucking move out of its way. I literally can't move. I literally could not move. The game wouldn't let me roll, run, jump, or do anything. I was just stuck. I'm a brain dead idiot, and I need the game to be as easy as fucking possible for me to play. Oh, I can't move! I'm stuck on the stupid coffin! Come on! Almost had him. Stupid coffin got in my way. It fucked me up. I love how I'm right next to him and I swing, and my swing goes through him and never touches him. I love that. You're right next to the boss with two insanely giant great hammers, and you're swinging, and somehow it's not connecting with the giant enemy in front of you. You gotta love that about Elden Ring and Dark Souls. So let's see. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, I'm gonna start my new attack. You lose. So Lucy is upset because I left the area we were just in to go back to the dungeon that I told everyone I was going to work on today. Lucy, this is not your stream. You don't get to dictate what I do on my stream in the playthrough. I'm going to eventually do everything. I'm just not going to completely distract myself from the goal of what today was to go check out a new area that we unlocked. I appreciate that you helped me find it, but uh... I don't know why else you'd be so upset at me. Why are you so upset at me? What did I do? <laughs> exactly, what did I do? Oh my god, he's drinking toxic toilet juice. Well, why else is Lucy complaining then? What have I what horrendous thing have I done wrong for them to complain and say they're going to leave? Right? What awful thing have I done? <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. Alright, let's play the game now. What's going on? Holy shit! I don't know what happened. What the hell was that? <laughs> it just stayed on the screen. It wouldn't go away. A fucking stupid thing just stayed there. Like, what was I supposed to do to that? I couldn't even fucking tell what it was. It was like sucking me in, but then it was like, blowing me away. Some kind of weird gravity thing. You didn't double heal even when I pressed it twice. I don't know what happened there. He didn't double heal. I pressed it twice and he only chugged once. I don't know. Weird. Interesting fight. Let's look into that tomorrow, but I'm, I gotta get out of here for now. It's, you know, I'm done. So, good stuff, right? Great stream, great progress. Super cool. Tomorrow, perhaps we will have a Psycho Crusher and uh, we continue on to try to finish up. I don't have enough money. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>